Thanks for all the joy that you're giving me I want you to know I believe in your soul Rhythm and rhyme and harmony You help me along Making me strong Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away All right, we're going to do this a little talk about this amazing song written in 1970, the year I was born. Um, I want to mention John Lennon back there, his quote again. Th this uh, little series I've been doing is called The Gospel of Rock. I have not done one of these for a while now, um, but I had a dream um, last week and it, right before I woke up and it, it, and in the dream, I was playing and hearing "Drift Away." <laughs> it was very clear, and I was like, "Okay, I got to, I got to do something about Drift Away." Um, so John Lennon's quote was, "I don't know what's going to go first, Christianity or rock and roll." And uh, this series I've been doing is is about <clears throat> the um, the body of of classic rock music taken as a corpus and and the power of this corpus of songs that we have that has become in some ways kind of a, a religion in itself <laughs> i hate to call it a religion though unless you look at the word religion in in the highest ideal sense which is that re religion is what brings you back right back to your true self then in that sense, you know, let's talk about religion. Let's talk about spirituality. Um, I don't think John Lennon was, was against true spirituality. I think he was a very spiritual individual. And I think that he had a lot of amazing things to say in that regard. But we're not going to talk that much about him per se here. Let's talk about the song a little bit. I'm just just going through the, 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 the Wikipedia art, uh, article on the song. So the song was originally written by this guy, Mentor Williams, in 1970. And it was originally recorded by a British singer named Mike Berry um, on his 1972 album, Drift Away. So he called his album Drift Away, and this song was featured on it. Um, and I, I've listened to his version. It's very good, but it's, it's a lot more... Um, heavily distorted guitar it does not have the same feel as the as the version that came out in 73 by Dobie Gray so let me read a little bit of this of this article mentor Williams was a country songwriter and John Henry Coons was an actor and swamp rocks rock singer so this is like a, a bringing together country and this thing called swamp rock uh, which will explain what swamp rock is in a moment and it was given to a soul singer named Dolby Gray. So you got these three different like genres coming together here. Um, for who, for whom it became a surprise international hit. And I think I, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Dolby Gray, this he might have been, you know, the a one hit wonder type of artist, but I'm not sure. And I, I hate to say that without knowing. Um, let me just say that I was, I had my guitar with me yesterday at the beach and this guy came by and he's like, come on, play us a song. <laughs> and usually I don't, I don't really play anything, but, but I had the song on my mind. So I started to play, you know, give me the beat boys. And he immediately picked it up, started singing with me. And he was like, thank you, Dobie. <laughs> so everyone knows Dobie Gray, right? Then not everyone knows Moby Grape though, but, but they know Dobie Gray. Um, in 1973, the song became Gray's biggest hit, peaking at number five on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and receiving a gold certification from the Recording Industry Association of America 
the song has been covered by numerous musicians. The personnel on the song, the song actually has a bunch of different um, musicians on it. It it has it even has pedal steel, it has some violin. Um, there was a country version done by this guy, Narvel Feltz, in 1973, in which he sang, um, I Want to Get Lost in Your Country Song, <laughs> which um, is almost sacrilegious, I think. No, I'm kidding. I, but it does kind of, uh, you know, change the song mightily, you know, especially in light of what, what I'm trying to do here, which is called the Gospel of Rock. It's not the gospel of country music, but you could do the gospel of country music. But let's start with the gospel of rock. Um, Michael Bolton also did a version in 1992. Um, I know that um, Michael Bolton is kind of like Barry Manilow. People have mixed feelings about him. I have not listened to his version. I'm sure it's very good. Um, the version, the other version that people know is Uncle Cracker, because Uncle Cracker's version uh, has Dobie Gray on it. And that came out in 2002, also a great version of the song. Now, one thing that people don't know is that the Rolling Stones actually did a version of it in 1974. Um, they recorded a cover of the song during the sessions for their only, It's Only Rock and Roll LP in 74, but it did not appear on the finished album. It was finally given an official release in, in 2021, so this just came out uh, as part of the Tattoo You reissue. The Heptones, okay. So that's worth listening to. I did listen to that version by the Rolling Stones. I don't think it was. It, it's that great. Um, it's certainly not like Dobie Gray, but but it's you know it's the Rolling Stones, so you you can't really go wrong. But um, anyway. Let's read the lyrics of the song. We'll talk a little bit. Um, <clears throat> give me a second here to pull this up real quick here. Um, I had it and then I just lost it. The lyrics, day after day I'm more confused. I look for the light in the pouring rain. Um, you know it's a game I hate to lose. What is the game I hate to lose? To look for the light, you know, the game of looking for the light in the rain. Um, but he's losing the game, right? He's confused. He's he's losing the game. And I'm feeling the strain. Ain't it a shame? Oh, give me the beat, boys. Free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost, lost in your rock and roll and drift away. <laughs> now... Some people would say, yeah, you are getting lost in, in that devil's music, um, drifting away, God knows where. <laughs> Certainly not to anything that Jesus would want you to drift away to. Um, you know, in a way, I think what we're, what we're getting at here with, with calling this the gospel of rock is really raising the question, Remember that the thing that John Lennon said, which is, I don't know what's going to go first, Christianity or rock and roll. And we're bringing it back to that question, which is, is rock a substitute gospel for those who are on the outs with, with uh, Christianity? You know, is music, can, can music save your mortal soul? Maybe, maybe more than, than Christianity can. Now, many people, again, would, would say that this, that's sacrilegious, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the devil talking. And I think, I think we need to bring that up. We need to raise this as a possibility here, is um, the salvational, the salvific aspect of music. And let's not look at these things as mutually exclusive either. Obviously, you can be a believing Christian and and love this music as well and and you can and you can feel the gospel you know coming right through this music this is a beautiful song no matter how you look at it that's why it's been covered so many times this song is is a very pure statement from the early days from the re relatively early days of rock music 
And some people thought that that was the end of rock music back then in 1970. <laughs> but uh, this is still, still the early days. Beginning to think that I'm wasting time. This is second verse. Beginning to think I'm, that I'm wasting time. I don't understand the things I do. The world outside looks so unkind. Who could not relate to this, right? Now I'm counting on you to carry me through. All right, boys, give me, give me the music. I've actually had this happen to me where someone is obviously going through something and, and they want me to play a song for them because they, they, you know, they, they want to, um, you know, to be transported and, and taken out of their misery for a moment. <laughs> and, uh, and maybe even more than that, who knows? Um, um, give me the beat boys and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. I don't think that the, the writer of this was, it was lost on him that he was saying, I want to get lost in rock and roll, right? I don't want to get found. I want to get lost. I want to get lost in the music. I want to lose myself. I want to, you know, Eminem, <laughs> lose this, this, um, Uncle Cracker is also from Detroit. Um, you know, um, I want, I want to lose myself. I want to get free of this. I want to get free of this, this unkind world, this confusion that I'm feeling, the strain, the, sh the pain, the shame. And when my, uh, now the little bridge part, I, when my mind is free, you know, a melody can move me. And when I'm feeling blue, it could, a guitar is coming through to soothe me. Maybe not the best bridge ever. It's very nice. It works. Um, but then it, it, it has a nice segue right into the, the final verse, which is thanks for the joy that you've given me. So it's kind of like now I've, I've heard the song and this is, the cool thing about this song is that it's a song about a song, you know, it's a song asking for a song, right? <laughs> and the song is the song that you're asking for. Um, Thanks for the joy you've given me. I want you to know I believe in your song. And, ryth and rhythm and rhyme and harmony. I think I I've read the rhythm and rhyme and the harmony. The rhythm and rhyme and harmony. I don't know what. I would have to listen to it to figure out what the exact words are there. By the way, don't go by the lyrics that you read online. They're usually wrong. <laughs> You've helped me along, making me strong. Give me the beat boys and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Give me the beat boys. Won't you take me? Yeah. Take me. Um... <clears throat> Now, certainly this could, like I was saying, this is not mutually exclusive. You could, um, you could understand the song as being, you know, if you, if you are a believing Christian, you know, you could, you could understand the song as being the unconditional love of Jesus, right? The, the musicians and the, and the song. And obviously music is used in worship, in Christian worship, quite a lot to help with the process. Some people look at it, if, you, if you're a skeptic, you will look at it as the music is manipulative, which it, which it sometimes is. But if, you're, but if you're a believer, you would look at the music as just helping, helping the process, right? Help, helping to, to free your mind and helping the process of, of releasing your um, your small self to to join with the greater song, the song of the universe, right? The one song of the universe that is uh, is playing in your heart. It has has been playing for eternity, and the song is just bringing you back there. And if it's a good song like this one is, this is this is just a well done, well put together song. You know, the other aspect of, of, of music <clears throat> and, and songs are, in a way, a good song, what a good song does is it hides the fact 
that it's it's put together. Someone put it together. Someone crafted it. It's a it's 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 a form of illusion, right? It's an illusion. <clears throat> it's 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 putting together different elements to create something that moves you, right? That takes you, that transports you. And that's what a good song can do. And and we all know that a bad song can do the opposite. <laughs> Right. Um, and so that's why there's a, you know, there's a, there's a craft to songwriting. And I think that the, the best songs and the best songwriters really spend time with it. They really sit with it. And, and I try to do that too. You know, I've, I've, I've realized that to really write a good song, you really have to put your focus there and you have to give it some time. You have to water your flower. You have to water the earth. You have to water that little seed of inspiration that you had, and it will grow into in, into a beautiful flower. But you, but but if you, you know, if you if you give it short shrift, if you get don't give it the uh, if you drift away from <laughs> from your work, you will um, not um, Give it, do it the justice it deserves, and and the song will not create that illusion that you're that you're seeking to create. Now, I hate to call it an illusion, but but in a way, that's what it is, right? It, it's it's um, you know something that is is a vehicle to take you back to to the reality, to what is real, to the real thing. In a sense, I would say that this, I, I don't also want to call it an illusion. I want to call it a real, you know, reality. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for listening. Yep, and I got to go. Thank you.